Welcome to today's tutorial, where I will show you how to create a stunning stationary mock-up using Photoshop. If you want to download the image for practice, the link is in the description below. Let's get started. Open Photoshop and load your image or document where you want to work. Draw a rectangle. Select the Rectangle Tool U from the toolbar. Click and drag on your canvas to draw the rectangle. Make sure it covers the area where you want your letterhead design to be. Change fill color to gray. Remove the stroke. In the Layers panel, ensure the rectangle layer is still selected. Decrease opacity to check alignment. Still in the Layers panel, adjust the opacity slider of the rectangle layer to a lower value, like 50%, to see how it aligns with the letterhead design beneath. Verify the edges are properly aligned. Once checked, return the opacity to 100%. Right-click on the rectangle layer in the Layers panel. Select Convert to Smart Object from the context menu. Double-click on the layer name to edit it. Rename it to Letterhead. Change the blending mode of the Smart Object to Multiply by selecting the layer, then adjusting the Blending Mode drop-down at the top of the Layers panel to Multiply. Select the background layer, then use the pen tool to create a precise selection around the folder. Ensure path is selected in the pen tool options. Alternatively, you can use other selection tools like quick selection or object selection to achieve the selection. Click on the edges of the folder image to create anchor points, forming a path around it. The pen tool will outline the shape of the folder. If the anchor points aren't accurate, don't worry. You can refine them later. To adjust the anchor points, hold Control Windows or Command Mac and left click on the pen tool to temporarily switch to the Direct Selection tool. Drag the anchor points to reposition them according to the image for precise selection. Once the path is created, right click on the path and select Make Selection. In the pop up window, click OK to confirm. Now you have a selection of the folder. Create a new layer by clicking the New Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. With the selection active, click on the Layer Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel to mask the folder. Your folder mask is now ready. On the folder image, use the Rectangle tool to draw a rectangle that will represent where your design will be placed. Change the fill color of the rectangle to gray and remove the stroke. You can do this by setting the stroke to None in the Properties panel. Right-click on the rectangle layer and select Convert to Smart Object. This will allow you to place your design later. After converting, rename the layer to Folder. To apply the folder mask to your new Smart Object, hold Alt Option on Mac and drag the existing folder mask to the Folder Smart Object layer. This will duplicate the mask onto your smart object. Now your folder design area is ready to have any artwork placed into it. Select the background layer from the Layers panel by clicking on it. Then, turn off the visibility of the folder containing the smart object by clicking the eye icon next to it. This hides the folder, making it easier to work with the background and focus on the folder cap. With the background layer still selected, initiate a selection process for the folder cap. Choose the Pen Tool tool from the toolbar and in the Options bar, set it to Path Mode. Start placing anchor points around the folder cap by clicking along its edges, creating a path that outlines the shape. You can adjust the path later for precision. Once you've placed the initial anchor points, use the Convert Point tool or Direct Selection tool to fine-tune the points and their handles. This allows you to smooth out curves and make the selection more accurate. Right-click on the path and select Make Selection. Then create a new layer by clicking on the New Layer icon. With the selection still active, click on the Layer Mask icon to apply the mask. Finally, rename the mask layer to Cap as a reminder. Select the background layer and proceed to make a selection of the folder cap button. To create a round selection, choose the elliptical marquee tool from the toolbar. 
Hold down the Shift key to ensure a perfect circle while dragging to make the selection around the button. Afterward, create a new layer by clicking the New Layer icon. With the selection still active, click on the Layer Mask icon to apply the mask. Finally, rename the mask layer to Button as a reminder. Create a new adjustment layer by clicking on the solid color option above the folder containing the smart object layer. Choose the desired color from the color picker and click OK to confirm. Next, locate the cap mask that was created earlier and drag it onto the new solid color layer to replace its mask. This will apply the color only to the cap. Finally, rename this solid color layer to change cap color to keep things organized. Now, your cap design is ready for color adjustments. Create another solid color adjustment layer above the change cap color layer. Select your desired color from the color picker and click OK. Now locate the button mask created earlier and drag it onto the new solid color adjustment layer to replace its mask. This will apply the selected color only to the button. Rename this layer to change button color to keep track of it. Your button design is now ready for color adjustments. Delete the mask layers since they are no longer needed. Next, create a rectangle shape on the business card image using the Rectangle tool. After drawing the rectangle, change its fill color to your desired color and remove the stroke Right-click on the rectangle layer in the Layers panel and choose Convert to Smart Object. After converting, rename the layer to Business Card Front for easy identification. Finally, change the blending mode of the rectangle layer to Multiply to blend it seamlessly with the underlying business card image. The process of creating a smart object for the business card back is the same. Create a rectangle on the envelope image using the Rectangle tool. Set the fill color to gray and remove the stroke. Decrease the opacity to check that the edges are properly aligned with the image, then reset the opacity. Right-click on the rectangle layer and select Convert to Smart Object and rename the layer to Envelope. Change the blending mode to Multiply. Turn off the visibility of the Envelope Smart Object layer. Next, create a rectangle only on the envelope flap using the Rectangle tool. Set the fill color to gray and ensure the stroke is set to None. Right-click on the rectangle layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Then rename the layer to Flap. Turn off the visibility of the Flap Smart Object layer. Select the Background layer and use the Pen tool to create a path around the flap. Adjust the anchor points using the Direct Selection tool to refine the path. Right-click on the path and choose Make Selection. Then click OK to turn the path into a selection. Create a new layer and add a layer mask based on the selection, or directly mask the Flap Smart Object layer. Drag the mask to the Flap layer, then delete the mask layer you created. Finally, drag the Flap layer above the Envelope layer, and turn the Envelope layer back on. create a smart object for the eraser. After completing smart objects for all stationary items, it's time to place your design. To begin with the letterhead, double-click on the letterhead smart object layer to open it. 
Go to File, Place Embedded, then select your design file and click Place. Resize the design to fit the rectangle size on the letterhead. Press Enter to confirm the placement. 5. Press Ctrl-S, Command-S on Mac, to save the changes, and then Ctrl-W, Command-W to close the smart object and exit. This will apply the design to the letterhead. Repeat the same process for the other stationary items like the envelope, business card, etc. To change the folder cap color, start by double-clicking on the Hot Change Cap Color Adjustment layer. After choosing the desired color, click OK to apply the change. The same process can be used to modify the button color. Select the Folder Smart object and navigate to the top of the Layers panel to change its blending mode from Normal to Multiply. Next, select the background layer and press Ctrl-J three times to duplicate it, creating three copies of the background layer. Double-click on the first copy and rename it Light. Then double-click on the second copy and rename it Shadow. and finally rename the third copy to Adjustment. Now select all three layers, Light, Shadow, and Adjustment. Then press Ctrl-G to group these layers into one folder. Drag this group to the top of the layer stack, click the eye icon next to both the Shadow and Adjustment layers to turn them off. Finally, select the Light layer, change its blending mode to screen from the drop-down in the layers panel, and adjust the opacity of the light layer by lowering the opacity slider to achieve the desired effect. To proceed, turn on the visibility of the shadow layer by clicking the eye icon next to it. Next, select the shadow layer and change its blending mode to multiply from the drop-down in the Layers panel. Adjust the Opacity slider to control the intensity of the shadow, lowering it according to how much shadow effect you want to apply to your design. To fix the area, begin by turning on the visibility of the Adjustment layer by clicking the eye icon next to it. With the Adjustment layer selected, 
Choose the Rectangular Marquee tool from the toolbar and make a selection around the specific area you want to correct. Once the selection is made, click on the Layer Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel, which will apply a mask and hide the rest of the image outside the selected area. Finally, decrease the opacity of the adjustment layer to seamlessly blend it with the surrounding areas, ensuring it matches the rest of the image. Your stationary mock-up is now ready. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. If you found it helpful, make sure to like the video, share it with others, and subscribe to my channel for more design tips and tutorials.